What's up everybody, it's Kevin and I'm back with another video. So I'm really excited to kind of talk about this video today because we're actually gonna talk about this tonneau cover that I got. It's a it's a Diamondback SD version. We put it on the truck about a year ago. I, I went with this tonneau cover because of its durability. So they call it Diamondback because this is actually Diamondback and I got it coated. I'm not sure if it's like a Linux covering or I'm not sure what if it's something special that Diamondback uses. But this is an amazing piece of equipment for my truck. And the reason I love it so much is because ultimately it protects the inside better than a soft tonneau cover that could get sliced open really easily. Obviously it's made of metal, it's durable. You know, I've had it for a little over a year and it's done really well. The only, the only complaint I have is in the winter, I've had it where my door freezes to the gasket here. And I have not figured out a way to prevent that just yet. And I have some footage, I'll have to see if I can dig it up, but I have some footage of where it got frozen. And the problem is, is it typically freezes when I'm out traveling doing an event, when I need it to not freeze. And so being able to store and put equipment inside of this where I know it's a little bit safer than a typical tonneau cover is one of the reasons. Plus one feature I really love about this is the way it opens. This thing opens up in a V-shape so I can easily access stuff on the front end of the bed and also on the back end. So what I love about this thing is that I can now reach in here and literally grab the toilet paper that slid all the way to the front of the truck without having to crawl into the bed of the truck to get this. That's why I love this. It just makes everything easily accessible and really it prevents you from having to look like the guy who has to crawl in the back of his bed of his truck constantly to get the stuff out. And that used to be me with my S10. So this is pretty cool. What I really like is that this thing opens up with relative ease. Once you turn the mechanism, the locking latch, it just lifts really easily and it's powered by these two gas struts which lifts this up without any issues whatsoever. The other thing I really like is that Diamondback was thinking about this when they built this so when you close it, you got it locked and when I open it, say I forget to lock it, it only pops up partially and that's because it has this release latch so that it doesn't open up and all the wind catches it which I really liked. Now, it was about six months after I had this, maybe seven or eight, I'm not 100% sure. Diamondback actually had a recall on it and they were having issues. I'm assuming that these things, if somehow if this mechanism came open and it caught, you know, catches wind, this thing's gonna rip up and grab. But what they ended up doing is they have this metal tether that's here that attaches to this. So it was just literally uh, taking this back apart, putting that tether on the main frame and bolting that down. And now if this were to break or for whatever reason, it would be latched to the main support and it would flop back and kind of fall on itself. You know, that was a, what, a 15 minute fix. So I, I really didn't think it was too big of an issue. And um, yeah, we took care of it pretty easily. But I've been really happy with it. It's super clean and durable. And uh, <clears throat> what's really cool, if you want to take this whole thing off, just pop off both sides. The gas, well, see, obviously it's heavy. Um, you pop off both of the gas struts, pull this off, and the whole system basically unlatches itself. So you can take this whole thing off in a matter of five to 10 minutes with somebody's help, or you can unbolt the C-clamps from the center and you can just lift this whole thing off, carry it off, do whatever work you need to do, and uh, then put it back on. But the reason I love this thing, oh, here, let me show you else what else is going on up here. So this rubber seal is like super ultra sturdy and thick. I mean, this thing, I've had a little bit of water leak into the bed, but that's only like when I'm power washing. It's not something that's happening with snow or anything. That's like literally when I'm power washing here and I'm getting all the dirt and grime off that it's shooting straight through. You also get a weather strip when you install this so that the front of this is sealed up against this. It basically raises the bed of the truck so it meets the plastic and then you get a nice seal all the way across so that you don't have water leaking in to the front of this for any reason. Um, I have had zero issues with this other than, like I said, 
when I'm power washing and it gets maybe underneath the seam. Make sure it's closed. Lock it back up. While I'm talking about this, I will say that I've had a couple of instances when it's super freezing out, we've had some heavy rains, that my actual lock here was frozen shut. And that can be stressful when you need to get into your truck. But um, I had some de-icer, some of the lock stuff to put in there, and it took care of it. But that's definitely something, because it's exposed, it's going to have that issue. So I'm actually working on building a cover for this so that I can pop it on here nice and snug. And then during the winter, I can pull it off so that I don't have ice and snow get into my locks and destroy them over time. One of the other things I really like, they've got these tie downs on each side. The SD comes with four. I think the HD comes with eight or possibly 10, but um, Diamondback has other ones that you can buy. You can drill in and add more to it. I don't have a need for more. The SD version, if I remember correctly, can support 400 pounds. It's almost two of me, and which which is awesome, right? I mean, to be able to put this down, fill up the truck, and then put 400 pounds on top of it to be able to carry more stuff, that's fantastic. I mean, I've carried washers, I've moved um, bikes, weight equipment, things like that. Just throw it on top of the bed and it's super durable. And this coating just really does a good job. So yeah, I love this thing. Uh, let's take a look inside how it's hooked up to the bed of the truck actually. So my truck's a little dirty. Not too bad. Uh, they have these two C-clamps. You get it all in place. When you install it, you just install the center beam. And then you uh, just tighten those down, crank them down. And that's it. And that guy. Which means you can have something super tall stacked up back here, just like a fridge or a washer. And then you don't have to take this whole thing off. You just fold it over on itself and you're ready to go. And when you're done, pop that one back on. It up. And that's my Diamondback tonneau cover. So I know that everybody has their own perks, you know, different reasons for getting certain pieces of equipment for their truck. For me, the Diamondback just was something that really fit my uh, niche and my need really well. It allows me to put stuff into the bed of the truck, secure it, and I feel pretty confident when I'm traveling to put some stuff in the back of it. You know, I have my science equipment and things like that. It's nothing that um, I'm too stressed out about, but it's more of just knowing that it's secure. So anybody who's going to dig into this thing, they, they, they're going to have to work to get into it. I mean, it's not a perfect security system, but I feel like it's a, more of a deterrent than, say, um, a fabric tonneau cover where you can just slice right through it. I mean, this thing has to, this, you'd have to work to pry it up and, and get into it. I mean, the steel rods and beams that hold it all together, I feel like it's constructed really well and it's held up over time. Now, the price tag on this thing I think it was $1,500, like $1,450, I think. I'm pretty sure. I, I have to go back and check my receipt. But um, I think it's really worth every single penny of that we've spent on it. And uh, it's totally up to you. You know, let me know what you think. Do you have a truck, and what kind of tonneau cover do you have on it, and do you like it, and why do you like it, and why don't you like it? There are a lot of things about this thing that I love, but there are a couple of... Uh, nuances that I particularly don't like. If you look on the Diamondback website, they have so many add-ons to this thing, racks and different pieces you can build onto it. it it's, it's pretty sweet. And if you go to the heavy duty, I, I can't remember the exact weight. I want to say it's 2,000 pounds. Don't quote me on that, but it is a ridiculous 
amount of weight that you can put on to the top of this thing. So if you like the video, and if you like the truck with the tonneau cover, hit the like button, smash it if it's something you're into. Make sure you hit subscribe, hit that notification bell to let you know when we're uploading new videos. Um, like I've said before, if you're new to the channel, this is my second channel. I have another channel called Learning Science is Fun where I post science content for families and uh, educational purposes. And we have almost 10,000 subs there. We're just starting to build this channel. So yeah, support it if that's something you're into. And uh, most importantly, keep on working on your cars. And uh, yeah, together we'll get better at this stuff. All right, take care, guys. See you in the next video. Bye.